Hello everyone. My name is Hirotaka Nakashima from Chukyo University, Japan. My study is titled Characteristics of a Well Done Breaking Pitch in Baseball. Let's move on to the background. Recently, various measurement systems, such as a ball tracking system, have been introduced in Major League Baseball. Even amateur players can easily measure their performance by assessing ball velocity and spin rate because of the development of these technologies. Among these, the spin of a pitch ball has attracted considerable attention. This has brought about several studies about the spin of a pitched ball. Because of these studies, we now know information such as the factor that determines the spin of a fastball, as well as the effect of the spin of a fastball on batting performance. As we can see, most of the previous literature focused on fastballs. But what about the breaking pitches? There are many types of breaking pitches in baseball. In this study, we focused on the most common types curveball, slider, and changeup. I will be explaining each of these three types in detail. First, the curveball. Curveball usually have top spin and drop. In most cases, Pitchers throw curveball to upset the batter's timing. Second, the slider. Sliders usually move laterally and downwards. Sliders are usually faster than curveball, but slower than fastballs. Pitchers throw slider mainly to force batters to miss their swing. Finally, the changeup. Changeups are off-speed balls, usually thrown to look like a fastball, but they actually arrive much slower. Going back to the background, only a few studies have investigated the relationship between the characteristics of the breaking pitches and batting performance. However, coaches and catchers always advise pitchers how to improve their breaking pitches. How do they judge whether the breaking pitches are good or not? If the characteristics of well done breaking pitches are revealed, there would be concrete ways for pitchers to improve their performance. The purpose of this study was to quantify well done breaking pitches evaluated by experienced catchers in baseball. Now for the method of this study. 20 collegiate male baseball pitchers from one team participated in this study. Their pitching motions were either overhand or three-quarter throws. Among the pitchers, six were left-handed and the other 14 were right-handed. Lateral inversion processing was performed on the data of the left-handed pitcher to integrate it with the data of the right-handed pitchers. Each pitcher threw every type of pitch they typically use in a game. We analyzed one pitch of each type, deemed satisfactory by the pitcher for every pitcher. Each pitcher threw more than two types of pitches, including fastballs. To record the velocity of the pitched ball, a speed gun was used. On the other hand, to record its spin, a high-speed video camera with a frame rate of 1000 frames per second was used, as shown in the bottom images. Five variables were assessed. The first would be the velocity of the pitched ball. Second is the spin rate and the three spin components. Top and back spin, spiral spin, and side spin. These spin variables were calculated based on the displacement of points drawn on the ball surface, as seen in the video recording. Third is the displacement of the pitched ball. The displacements were estimated from the pitched ball velocity and spin component using the equation proposed by Nagami et al. Lastly, 
the fourth and fifth variables were the ratio of the velocity and the ratio of the displacement of braking pitches relative to the fastball. Nine experienced catchers belong to the same team as pitchers evaluated each braking pitch of each pitcher. The evaluation system corresponded to a five-point grade system. Pearson's product moment correlation coefficients were calculated to investigate the relationship between the mean value of the evaluation by nine catchers and the calculated variables. The level of significance was set to less than 5%. Let's move on to the results and discussion. Among a total of 61 pitches, 20 fastballs, 18 curveballs, 11 sliders, and 12 changeups were analyzed. The table shows the means and ranges of the velocity and spin rate of each pitch. Take a look at values for fastball. Its mean velocity was about 133 km per hour. Compared to previous literature, the participants in this study were just average college baseball players. The figure at the bottom right shows the ball displacement from the pitcher's point of view. Pitched ball could be categorized into different types to a certain degree. For every type of breaking pitch, significant correlation was not observed between the evaluation and fastball velocity. That is to say, it did not mean that the faster fastball was, the higher the evaluation of breaking pitches was. For curveballs, significant correlations were observed between the catcher's evaluation and the spin rate, top and back spin, and vertical displacement of the pitched ball. The balls that had greater top spin and were often dropped were highly evaluated. In most cases during a game, pitchers throw a curveball to upset the batter's timing and obtain a strike. Therefore, the batters considered it difficult to swing and hit balls which has a trajectory that rises significantly, then drops sharply, because the batters are forced to change the direction of their eyes, thereby upset their timing. For the slider, although significant correlations were not observed, between the evaluation and the vertical or horizontal displacement. Significant correlation was observed between evaluation and the ratio of the velocity relative to the fastball. The higher the ratio of the velocity relative to the fastball was, the higher the evaluation was. A pitcher throw a slider mainly to force batters to miss their swing. If the ball was slow and largely curved or dropped like a curve ball, then the batter would not swing. Therefore, the balls that had greater velocity relative to the fastball were highly evaluated. For the changeup, no significant correlation was observed between the evaluation and any variable. The date range of both velocity and spin rates of changeups measured in this study was narrow, compared to the other types of pitches. This is one of the reasons why significant correlation was not observed. In conclusion, this study quantified well-done breaking pitches as evaluated by experienced catcher in baseball. This study suggested that pitchers should increase the top spin rate and sharply drop the ball in order to pitch a well done curve ball, while pitchers should increase the velocity relative to the fastball in order to pitch a well done slider. Thank you for your kind attention.